Hi, Media Studies students. Uh, this is Mr. Clark. I'm just going to take you through um, some things that you can do to make a magazine article. I'm just going to talk a little bit about finding images first. I found um, this is which is quite useful, which is a um, picture of some milk coming into a glass and a high quality image of a cow. And I just want to talk about images just for a quick second. If we go back to um, sort of the uh, a Google search for it, so I might go milk and, and, um, and add PNG. And what a PNG is, is that it's an image that's got um, a white background that won't come up in anything. So you see that those dot, those are checkered, that won't come up as anything. It's, it's, not, it's a lack of anything there. So that might be useful for cows as well. For example, because when you look at it, um, some of these will be uh, without anything else surrounding them, just uh, just the cow itself without anything around it. Um, the other thing about searching for images, you know, you go into tools, you go into size, you want them to be large, you want them to be really high quality. Um, obviously, uh, that's where I got uh, one of those. I'll talk about this in a second. You can, they can be um, in full color, they could be in black and white, um, they could be a photograph or clip art or line drawing, depending on what you want to do. This is just a simple example because I know you're doing something to do with um, the dairy industry. So um, I got this one as well, it's a very high quality image, it's only starting to be obviously blurred when I go on this close, so I chose that one as well. And then um, there's a couple of great sites for getting a type of font that you might be after. In my case, I got this one called Mutant Supermodel, and I downloaded it for free. When you do that, um, you'll come to a TTF sort of file, and then you want to install it. I'll just install another one, uh, like this later one. So I go download, um, you go on the zip file, and then you double click on the TTF. And now I've got this one as well. Although I can see that uh, font isn't actually very good because it's only in. Uh, capitals and not lowercase. But anyway, I won't download that one. But I have downloaded um, uh, uh, two of them that I'm going to use. Um, the other thing that I got was um, some information about the um, dairy industry, losing billions of dollars to trade barriers. I copied it all and I actually put it into Word. Oh, it's the uh, wrong one. I put it into Word and I just got rid of some other things. So um, I'll show you what it was like before I got rid of all that stuff. I came in as this. And over here, which you might not know about, is this little rubber in in, in Word. And it quickly changes everything to a neutral um, sort of Calibri size 11. It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to be absolutely anything in some crazy font. And then you should just do that. It goes back to normal Calibri 11. Um, I just got rid of all that stuff. So now it looks like this. Um, and the reason I need that is that this is my information that I'm going to put in. And now it's already in formatted. I can check whether the spaces are and the returns, obviously by turning on this. So it's quite a useful tool for working out where, how the paragraphs are going, because that's going to be really important. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop the PS. Um, so something you can do, um, here's my layers, this is just a single layer, that large quality, um, one of a cow. I'm going to get rid of the background because as you can see there's no clouds and maybe I can put some text around this. So in your toolbox off to the side, if you can't ever see anything just go to window and you'll be able to find your tools there. But anyway, so one, two, three, four, the fourth tool down is this one, is quick selection on magic wand and it automatically selects areas for you quite easily. So I'm just selecting all the, the sky. Oops, I clicked off it. Um, and um, it gets rid of all those things that are of a similar color. Just to be careful sometimes around areas. I want to keep that bit of the hill. And yeah. Then you can also use the magic, uh, the, sorry, the quick selection tool you want to do certain areas. So if you accidentally got a bit of the ear by accident, you can use Alt to get those areas back. Okay, so I'm getting the ear back. And I got it because I don't want to have the cow with only one ear. Okay. And then you can um it's about there. 
that we want to get rid of all that area. So um, uh, basically what it's going to look like is this. When it's finished. Oops. Uh, sorry, I mean... this and it means that there will be nothing at the background of it the reason why that's it's such an advantage i'll just quickly do it but not as as carefully as i did before um the reason why that's quite useful is because you can use that to do your magazine article and so you can get rid of all that and um then you might go um, canvas size and um, increase the height of it by um 200 percent and um, let's say this is a page. Um, maybe maybe less than that. Maybe if we take it to there. So let's say let's zoom back in. So let's say let's say this is a page like an, a, a page in an article, and we want to have our text come around the cow and come down a little bit, but not too far. So what you can do is in this area something that you should have. If you press F seven, is this thing called layers and layers and channels and paths. Don't worry about channels, that's just to do with um, colors. I don't want to get into that. The paths is what we want to talk about. And this is so useful for magazine articles. So down here, there's a thing called a pen tool. And then you can basically work out the parameters of where you want your text to go. You want it kind of to wrap around this animal and wrap around there. You don't want to be too silly with how you do it. But then, as you can see, a little work path is created here. I go back to my text about the... Ooh, dairy industry i can select it all oh actually i might select a bit of it because that might be a page so i'm going to copy that Control c or in the case of an apple uh, pretzel fee blah 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 and um, then i'll go back into here and when i go into this area normally when i uh, text i can write whatever i want blah 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 but actually what i want to do is i want to go into here and you see it's square usually over here but when i go into the work path it changes to a circle so now it's inside there, and if I press the inside there, it fits it and and moves around it perfectly. Obviously, it's a little bit too large, so it doesn't really look that good. If I make it a, a size 11, you can see how it would follow the form of it. Okay? And it's ending on all the right things. This is actually in a, a Chilton font. Um, but anyway, you can see how it's going around. It's not a complete sentence because it ended there, my selection. But all these words are fine. Economy, according to the report, dairy contributes 7.8 billion to New Zealand's GDP and is our largest goods exporter, blah, 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 blah. And it's following the head of the cow, which is all I wanted to get across. So let's make a real um, magazine article about this. So let's go file new international paper, A3. And we're gonna pretend that's one of the pages. And I'm going to make a double page spread. So I'm going to go canvas size. I'm going to go my width percentage. I want it to be 200% wider. All right. Now, I don't know where the midway point is, but until I put my rulers on. So um, uh, when I uh, go into Photoshop, there should be like a little ruler at the top um here and if you if you if you take the rule of your cursor up to here you can drag down the it sort of snaps you've got to have um uh snap on but um so here we go in view you want to put your rulers on and you also want to have snap on and the reason is if you don't have the rulers you can't measure things across and if you don't have snap it suddenly won't suddenly change to being the midway so let me just put my rulers back on this is so important for designing magazine and article not so much uh, the halfway point in, a, in a, a vertical sense, but more in a horizontal because it'll come across, come across, come across, and it'll suddenly snap when it comes in halfway, which is there. Um, oh, no, that's not right. Oh, yeah, that must be it. Hang on, let me just take a few steps back. That's right. Okay, cool. Um, what I might do just to make things a little bit easier is um, I might just um, paint one color in. 
Okay, so I'm just I'm just going to add a uh, a black to, to this layer, and then I'm just going to go to my canvas size, and make it two hundred percent wider. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. Sorry, you have to do that. So that represents my first and second page. Just so I know where things are going. It doesn't have to be black and white. This is just so that I know and you know and all the rest of it. And then we can bring our ruler across here and we'll snap when it comes to the midway point. So that's really useful as a sort of like this first page, this is the second page. So A3 is pretty large, as you can see. So if you go to um, image sizes um, and look at your pixels, it's 7,000 pixels um, across now. So that's quite a large document. So let's get on our images. I think that's possibly the most important things to get in. So here's uh, this cat. You can drag it into another layer so as long as you bring it in. As you can see it's not actually that big, but the, the cool thing about this is now I've gotten rid of the sky. So I want my cow to be as large as this. So when you get an image in, you really want to place it and line it up. If you have your snap on, those little purple lines will come up, those pink kind of lines will come up, which will really help you align things super well. Um, a shortcut key is Control or Pretzel T for transform. And if you hold down shift, you can increase the size of it. If you don't, it'll 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 get all crazy and out of focus and all terrible. Um, so you want to hold down shift when you increase the size of it. And I just wanted to fit there. Actually, no, I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to. I was going to go all the way to there. So it's going to be quite a large image. Um, don't worry about there being a little bit of blue sky around this cow because it's not actually going to stay because um, it's actually going to be white. But we don't need to know. This This is just purely so I know which is which page. And the other one I wanted to bring in was the smoke PNG, which I thought was quite fancy. And I can dra drag that in. And it's not as large as that really high quality one of the cow. But it's a pretty cool image. OK, and as you can see, it's already been faded out professionally. It doesn't have anything. Um, at the top, so the milk seems to be coming from nowhere. So I'm going to place it at the top of the other page, kind of close to where the um, cover of the story is going to be. So again, oh, actually, I don't really want to make it that much bigger. So that's probably fine. Okay, so now I'm going to use that splatter effect. So um, one thing I might do is get a nice color for the background. Or even a sky sort of background, I might do that as well. So go online and uh, get the uh, sky. Again, if you're going to go into images, you really want to have it go into your tools and make sure that it's large, you want it to be in color, you want it to be too stormy or whatever. Um, just think for something quite calm, maybe uh, cloudless sky. Um, and yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, okay, cool. And I'm going to drag that into this file called cows. And then I'm going to open this in Photoshop. Cool. And let's have a look at it. So there it is. Beautiful. Um, select it all. Control A or pretzel A. I've selected it all. And then I can cut it. Control X or pretzel X. I'm just going to say pretzel because I think most of you are working with apples. So from now on, I'll just say pretzel. Anyway, there's the sky, and then I can put it in behind this. Okay, now I know it's at the top now, but that's easily changed because you can see it's this layer three up here. This icon means to make it visible, but I'm just going to bring it down to the bottom. Okay, and that represents the middle of the magazine. Okay, so. Uh, it's really not that hard. So let's do that splatter effect. Um, so I can't remember what it was called. What was it called? Um, and that's the other one. Um, uh, mutant supermodel. <laughs> There's no way I was going to remember that. Um, okay, so mutant supermodel. So I'm going to uh, very industry. I think I'm misspelling this right now because it's so small. I need to make it really large so I can see what I'm doing. Um, this is in the Chilton font because I've just been doing something for children. So dairy industry. Actually, oh, that's really boring. Um, actually, I, I, I probably want 
um, uh, show you something else uh, right away with it. So when you go into this, this little icon here is this P is the um, uh, font or well, the type uh, tool. And what you can do is you can actually select the area that you want to fill it in. So as you can see, it fills in that space. But that is not what I want to say. It's uh, what it was. It was the dairy industry costs tax payer something something alarming like that. All right, um, and then I want to select it all, and now I'm going to put it onto mutant supermodel mutant. Mutant Supermodel, and the reason I want to put it on, oops, the reason I want to put it on Mutant Supermodel, oh yeah, that's another useful thing is actually going through all the fonts you've already got. Maybe you don't need to go on one, but some of them are definitely not not fitting. Like that looks just wrong. That looks too boring. You know, the reason I'm going to go for the splatter is so that it looks like milk. Um, sometimes it's easier just to uh, type in if you know what it is. Mutant. And there it is. So that that's what's going to look like. Oh, although I've just found out that it must be only lowercase. So I can I can I can fix that. Um, was it high case? NZ tax payer millions or something like that. Okay. Now um, I have to be aware of where the midway point is going, so I'm going to take my font and I'm I'm just going to try to I'm actually going to copy all of that, or I can or I can actually move it as it is there. Or see that's no good. Maybe it's a bit too long, um, but anyway, this is just to give you the idea of how this can all work. Because the other thing that you can do is you could make the milk larger, and they could slightly go behind this. It's easy to make it go behind because here's the font, and here's the milk, and we're just going to pop it in front. Um, doesn't look quite right, but you can you can get the idea. Um, sometimes what you might want to do is double click on a layer and open up what's called the layer style. You could put it, oh, you can't see what you're doing when it's up in front of you, but um, you can drop a shadow on it, which might be ugh, slightly annoying to read. But um, the reason I'm going to put it, I'm going to put on a stroke on it of white on the outside and just a couple of pixels. And it just helps it pop off a little bit. Okay. Um, so, anyway, so th th there's an idea. And right now, I'm going to go back to my Word document that had all my boring stuff about cows. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, geez, how much is there? So I'm going to choose about half of it. Oh, spelling mistakes. Half of it. I'm going to cut it out. So now I've cut it. And I reckon I can get that all on the first page. So I'm going to start the article here. Uh, see, I'm leaving room for a possible page number and paste it. Now, obviously, that looks crazy but um i'm not going to do it that size i'm going to do it that size and and obviously a normal font and a normal font hmm, it's hard to say i mean like you don't always want to do aerial but i mean use your judgment whatever is readable the the larger part of the article that i mean the the attention grabbing heading doesn't have to be in a super readable font depending on how many words it is and how many letters i mean if, in this case there's no z's in there um wonder how unreadable that is and always try to imagine that you don't understand what the article is about and that's actually that's actually looking pretty pretty formal that looks nice um it's a little bit small um so i've still got that tax area so i'm oh, sorry i'm that tax area um i'm gonna put up to 24 that's too big you just have to play around with it a little bit um until you get it just right and it looks like it ended on the word and which is never a good idea so I'm actually going to take out that last line. 
I'm um, going to take out that line. I'm going to go back into the Word document. Zoom back in. I'll put it back in here. Because that, that I sh yeah, that's that's a definite no-no for designers. Like start, you know, having a, a turn of a page <clears throat> um, in the middle of a sentence is just stupid. So um, um, yeah, so th there's the font. It looks pretty professional now. I'm going to leave it a little bit of a border of blue around it just so it's readable and also pa uh, page number. Although I can make it a little bit. What size is that? I wonder if I can get up to twenty. There we go. There we go. And now it's starting to work. Um, and now the second page is a little bit more interesting because we're going to do it um, based on a thing. So you have to remember the size that you've used. So obviously I've used size 20 in Gaudi Old Style Bold in bold and it's sharp. It's right aligned, it's not center, and it's not, uh, sorry, it's left aligned, not right aligned or, or centered. So you just have to remember that. So um, go back to the document and get all the rest of it because that's the rest of the story put it out i don't need that anymore and now what i'm going to do is this thing where i'm going to go to my tools bar here so oh no don't need to go to that um and i'm going to make a shape and that shape is going to come down here you can come down quite quickly. Let's see, oops, that's a little bit off to the side. Never mind. And back up to here. And what you really want to check for are your layers and. Now when um so basically I've created a shape here, and when I went to this before anywhere else when I want to type something it's just going to go straight. I don't want that. I want to go inside this shape that I've made, and so when I do that it um, changes to a circle and then I can pop it in here and you see it it it, it fits it really nicely in the map. Like you can even change it as you're going so it's going to follow that ear. So we come around here. And I need to bring this up a bit because the aligning isn't good. Although you can always fix it by just simply um, uh, forgetting that line. You just have to look for your formatting to make sure that there's not double spaces. Okay, let's see how that's looking. Okay. All right, cool. And let's zoom out. Let's see what that looks like. I mean, zoom in. It looks nice. Okay, so there's my magazine article. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in two page numbers. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, sorry, whoops, I didn't move the wrong one. Um, um, uh, this one bleeds. Um, I have to leave enough space for it. And it, it does give the, the sensation of it being sort of like a real thing. Um, so in here, I'm just going to make kind of, maybe it's 45. And this font will be the font of the magazine, not of your article. So choose something else, like something like that. So this will be page 46, but I'm now going to do this in white. So I'm going to switch my colors around and put 46 here and move it until it looks right. Now, it, you see those purple lines. When those purple lines came up, it's aligning it with the other page number. Okay. And I've used white because it's not going on the black patch of the cow. All right. So there's the magazine article. Now, there's two more things that you may need to do, and that would be photo credits. So you've got a little space down here and enough room to do photo credits, and you should do it in the same font as the magazine, not necessarily the article or the text, and definitely not the the um, tag, sorry, the um, text of the header. So you can just go um, photo credits, um, and then hyphen, and then like put in. You know, it could be um, Rooters, which is um, an Irish uh, photography company. There, there we go. And that's the magazine article. Now, once it's finished, what you want to do is um, sort of uh, make sure that you save it and you're saving it as a PSD so you can change it from day to day. Okay. But if you're happy with it and you're ready for it to be sent to a printer, you need to save it as a JPEG. And give it a good name and remember where you save it, uh, of course. So I'm going to. 
as cow page or uh, I'm just going to save it on the desktop for now. But I'm also going to save it as a PSD. Oh, when Photoshop asks you what quality you'd like to use, the answer is always best, maximum, you know, 12. And I'm also going to save it as a PSD. Oops, that's just saving. And I might save it as the same cow page um, as a PSD. Now, it's a different um, type of uh, file. When it's in this file, it's keeping all of these files separately. So you see, that's the cool thing about Photoshop is that like you can have different elements um, come in and out of your uh, document. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to do. Uh, I don't need to save that now. I'll just say. Now I'm just going to do a, a whole different example, but not for not for the uh, cow industry. So we'll go back to Google, and I'll show you some things that I found. Um, what is that? So I found a. Um, I found an interview with uh, Slash, who's one of my favorite guitarists um, from Guns N' Roses, and he's just joined Guns N' Roses again. And there's a big long article about like um, him working with Fergie from Black Eyed Peas, and you know, like um, being a guitarist in the '80s and stuff with Guns N' Roses, and da 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 da. And there's a lot of other things. And I've put again put that into Word, and I've made sure that all the formatting's the same by pressing um, this clear formatting, but um, I wanted all the questions in the interview to be bold, so I've kept those bold. Okay, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, a couple of, yeah. So it's quite a long interview. So there's quite a lot of stuff, and then it ends here with um, sort of like a another thing about uh, you know buying his album or something. So I've put into a Word document, so I've got my formatting, so I can close that now. I've got some photos of him, some of them in the 80s. A lot of them smoking a cigarette and i've gone for large and i've gone for black and white because i want this to be a really sort of classy sort of um, magazine spread about them sort of a little bit less silly and a bit more sort of um formal so you know black and white is quite a good way to do that and i um downloaded a famous font which has got the guns and roses sort of thing it's actually called um Corvina skyline so i installed this and it's an awesome looking font and i'm going to use this for the magazine article okay Corvina skyline gotta remember that um all right and then i've got this one as well so i'll show you what i'm going to do i'm going to open up my two uh slash images so i've got this one and this one right so i'm going to have a black one and a white one um, there they are, black and white. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the white around him, like I did for the cow, so in exactly the same sort of way. So here's my layer. There's no padlock on it. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. He's got curly hair, so I'm going to be, I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to use it with the magic wand tool. It's probably going to be better for him. See, it's selecting a lot less and a lower tolerance. So I might change that to 10. Okay, and it's just taking out a bit. Okay, and it doesn't matter if there's little tiny bits of white in between his hair because that won't matter. It's just to give us some space to, to make the text come up and then stop and then stop closer and then um, vary how long the lines are. That's all I'm getting across. It's, it's, not, it's actually not a very complicated idea, but um, now I'm going to save that again. I'm going to save that as a PNG and it will ask me if I want to replace it. Nice, don't Okay, and this one is black, and that can be fine, but as you can see, it's got the name of the photographer here, and I don't like the font, so I'm just going to like move it up a bit and forget that she took that photo. Right, so on with the magazine article. So I'm going to make a A3 um, page, so it's going to be quite a big one, like a like a rip it up sort of like rock magazine, and um, I'm going to make the canvas size twice as large. Don't press relative, that's what I was doing wrong last time. So you can go to percentage or width, make that 200% larger. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that, sorry. Um, let me just take a step back for a second. Um, Unpadlock that back background, and it'll make things a lot easier for you. Um, so 200% wider. And now um, I'm going to use this paint bucket here. And fill in one black and one white and the reason is that i want this white one to oh actually no i want it the other way around I want it the other way. um you'll see why in a second so there's my halfway and there's my 
Okay, there's black and there's white. And um, I'm going to move slash into this one. And what I want to do is have half of it be his face because you see his top hat suddenly just stops. So I'm going to make him really, really, really large. But only part of him is going to actually be on this page, like just that much. And the reason why I'm doing that is just to show people how recognizable he is. You don't even need to see most of his face. But if I make him larger still, I actually get rid of the sh shoulder. And I can afford to make him even larger still, but with less space. So, yeah, so just a tiny bit. So his nose ring and a bit of a smile and stuff like that. So that's where I'm going to put the text. Okay? Sounds a bit funny, but anyway, that's my idea. And then this one, this is great because he's surrounded in black. So that's even different. That's that's better again. So unlock, unlock it so we can move it around and then put it into a magazine article. And he's going to sit down there. And he can fit anywhere, really. He can just sit in the bottom sort of corner. You know, photographically speaking, that looks a bit weird. It looks like he's a Muppet sort of coming around the corner. But if you have the whole thing in his guitar, it looks like he's meant to be there. I might actually make him a little bit smaller. And now that I think about it, I should, probably should move that one along a little bit. So I've got some more. Um, Maybe I shouldn't have made him so big. Oh, well, there you'll get the idea. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in white, and it's going to be in, what's the name of that? Corvinus. Corvinus Skyline. What a cool name. And we're going to call this article, oh, God. Um, the Real Slash. <laughs> I just made that up then. Okay, I'm going to put it here, and it's 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 a bold title, but I'm going to make slash all capital letters like uh, the Guns N' Roses albums. Okay. Oh no, actually no way. I got a better idea for an article. I just thought of something else. Slash and burn. You know, like Guns N' Roses. Anyway, die. You guys are too young to understand that. So slash and burn, right? Uh, okay, there's my ad magazine article, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, this. I'm going to look at how many pages I've got. Whoa, heaps. So I'm just going to get a page of, of text. I think that's realistic. Let's see how that fits. And I'm again, I'm going to go down to my, my pen tool. I'm going to draw out the area that I want to have text in. And the text can sort of like come up here. I don't want it coming, cramping a style. All right, now I've made a, um, a full layer, and I can go to my text. Normally, text is like this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, whoops, you can't see that because that's white. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But we're going to be doing this in white because it's on black, so I can get rid of that. And when I go over this, you see how the icon changes to become a circle. Go in here, paste it in. Obviously, that's enormous text, so we can have that at 24. How's that looking? A bit weird. might be smaller. That's not big enough. So you just usually they have to play around a little bit until you kind of get that feel for how it's going to fit in. Sometimes you might find if your lines aren't completely straight that they might be a bit weird with their formatting. So it's best to just start on a new line. The born in stroke. Oh, another thing you could do. Oh, actually, um, let me just finish the magazine article first. So anyway, so there's one. And I've done that page. I'll do this page next. Oh, no. But the next page, I'm not going to have that much space. So copy that stuff. <clears throat> we're going to do the same. But this time, we're really being aligned by his hat and hair. This is sort of just a bit of an experiment. We'll see how this goes. Cool. And then we'll put it in. Oh, the reason why you can't see it, it's white on white. Change it to black. Actually, that looks cool. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Again, what you may need to do is just um, start on a new line. Now, the other thing that's annoying is that my interviewee and slash answering the questions are not in different fonts. So that means you, I meant 
that means I might need to change them. I it's not a super hard to read text, um, but to be honest, you know, is thinking as a designer here, it's probably kind of a no-no to sort of like have it in a different sort of script. Obviously, some of them are just that's that's a, a really dumb idea because no one's going to even be bothered reading that. Um, so you have to you have to be a little bit intelligent about what kind of um, font you choose. Adobe, Devon Guy, that looks okay. Cool. All right. So, anyway, so just as an idea, um, actually, I might change that to this one as well. There we go. Oh, no, that's italic. There we go. All right. Cool. So there's my there's my magazine article, and of course, we're going to put our page numbers in. Um, going to choose a different style again for that so this might be page uh, 15 and uh, we're going to make sure that it's on white because that's on the predominantly black page well I can't even see that I don't think I did that um, Oh, you got to you got to be careful of your of your layers, eh? Um, cool. So there's page thirteen. I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna put page fourteen over here, and that can be on white because that's now just move it around a bit until those purple lines help you line up. Now I'm just gonna remind you again the importance, especially when you're doing design articles. There we go. Uh, is to make sure that your view and you've got your rulers on, you've got snap on, because then you can also divide um, more things into halves and all the rest of it. Um, now, unlike the, I did with the cow article, um, I didn't really have a page one and a page two, and I think that's actually a really good idea. So I've got black and then white. Um, I just realized these two texts are different. But anyway, they're not supposed to be. You just have to forgive me. Um, and... Um, uh, last thing to put in could be um, a little background sort of thing. So I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn off those two bits of text. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put his name again uh, in white. And um, I might use uh, a really really large font. Like I might use a 200 or something. Or and then you can go through and. I'm just going to go until I find a really cool font that I haven't really used before. Uh, these all look terrible. Uh, it's kind of wrong. No. I want something a bit, it's got a, big, a bit of a grungy look to it. That looks terrible. Um, gosh, when you really see a word heaps of times, it loses all meaning, doesn't it? Um, What about barcode? No, 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 that's just silly. Um, uh, so this one, this one, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this really large, like really large across everything. Okay, now it's not going to stay like that um, because we're actually going to choose half of it and the other half, I'll just turn off my background so I can see it. Um, I should rasterize it. Uh, this is getting into a little bit of tricky territory, but um, no, it's not. It's it's not it's not that hard. But um, so one thing you can do is you may wish to um, turn something into a rasterize rasterize it. Um, that was my object. I actually, I know I have to do that to the whole thing. Okay. And rasterize it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have half of it in a white and half of it is black. So this one's going to be in black. Um, so I need to cut it and paste it back in and link it back up so it still looks good. But then half of it's going to be. 
but um, half of it's going to be um, black, but just only on that layer. You say I have to turn everything else off just so it doesn't get confused. So I've got this SH and I've got SLA. All right, cool. So that's what I wanted, and now I'm just going to show you what that's going to be like. Um, oh, did I do that the wrong way around? Oh, I did. Um, that's all right. I can go to this layer and just invert it. And that layer and invert it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, so what I'm going to do with these two is I'm going to merge those two together, and then I'm going to move the opacity down heaps. So it turns into a kind of a gray. It's different types of gray you can see. Okay, and then um, really I want to bring this layer down below everything else. So I'm going to bring this layer down until it's just in front of this. I'm going to see what else this looks like. Is that unreadable? Oh, it's kind of hard to read. Oh, I'm trying to do something a little bit interesting. Um, but it's okay because you can always um, just make it even more opaque and more opaque and more opaque until it's just sort of like a watermark there. So it's just an idea. So, yeah, that's my other idea. Oh, where's my other page number? I seem to have lost my other page number. Um, let's copy that one and go back into this one and just do another one. Um, doesn't seem to be there. Can't do without a page number. Uh, and uh, the very, very, very last thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the photo credits. And again, I've got a little bit of space here. I'm just going to put it in this little area of his hair. And we're going to go photo credits. Uh, Root is international, which is an Irish um, photography agency. But it doesn't need to be that big because, you know, they just took two photos, right? You know? Um, so I might make that um, 16 font. I mean, there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, another magazine article. So I'm going to save this one. Again, this is really important. So go File, Save As. You want to save it as a Photoshop file. A Photoshop file means it keeps all these lovely layers that you can manipulate and change. If you know your teacher doesn't like it, you can say, oh, that's fine. I can go back. I can change it. It's right. It's not set in stone. Oops, flash. Then, um, but when it comes time to printing, you have to save it as a JPEG, JPEG, and I'm going to call it slash bin, and that can now be sent to a printer and more easily sent um, online to check with someone what they think. So, um, there's, so let me just show you. Um, So um, there's my cow article. Dairy industry costs New Zealand taxpayer millions. Really? Read, 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 read. Page one, page two, or page 45, 46, I should say. And um, this is my uh, article about Slash. So Slash in the background, two photos of Slash, and uh, it's an interview. Sorry that the text are two different um, fonts. Uh, that was just me not paying attention. But So uh, I hope that was useful. I hope you can make some really cool um, magazine articles.